Welcome participants. Now, uh, I am going to give you lab demonstration on how we do the chain link arrangements for some common warp knit constructions related to single and double bar. So, if you see in the last class, I already mentioned you regarding the importance of chain links and pattern drum. So, your lapping plan of warp knit structure is actually derived from how you are placing the links of different height on a pattern drum. So, today I am going to give you the real practical of how you can arrange the links in a certain sequence for achieving swinging and sogging motion for a particular warp knit structure. Before we move on, just a quick recap of uh, what we covered in the last class. In the last class, I talked about the sogging motion with the help of pattern drum and the chain links. So, if you see the sogging motion or the lateral displacement which is actually given to guide bar with the help of pattern drum revolution, on the pattern drum there are chain links which provide depression and elevation to the follower which is connected with the guide bar with the help of push rod. So, whenever there is a elevation, the follower push the guide bar to the left and when there is a depression, automatically the with the help of a spring system, we can see there is a spring system, this is spring, the guide bar moves to the right direction. So, this pattern drum, pattern chain, push rod and the follower is very, very important for shogging motion. But what is more important is the sequence of pattern chain links. So, these are the links which is uh, placed in a certain sequence with the help of bar and these chain links are placed on the pattern drum which is shown here. So, I given you also one example of how these sequence are used and links are arranged on a pattern drum for making simple type of a structure. For example, let us suppose if you want to make 2 cross 1 structure here, so where the overlap is 1 to 0 and 0 to 2 is underlap followed by overlap and then underlap. Between each overlap and underlap, there was swinging motion. So, this is how the pattern drum elevation and depression are denoted. So, basically it could be the profile of the pattern drum can be divided into different concentratic circle of different radius. So, this elevation is coming from using different height of links on the pattern drum. So, you have the follower following the chain links at this point. So, when the revolution is happening, so based on the revolution whatever is the profile which is created with the help of chain links, the follower will be following exactly at this point. So, the radius is same, it means there will not be a lateral shift, only swinging will be happening. When it is going down, it means it is moving towards left direction. When the radius is increasing, it means the guide bar is moving towards positive direction. And this is how sequence are arranged for creating this particular 2 cross 1 tripod. So, now the question is how we actually arrange this? What is the steps that need to be followed before making any warp knit fabrics? So, I will selectively do some of the lab demonstration of particular warp knit structure where with I will be using different types of links and I will be putting them in a sequence and you can then visualize how this might be done in a real practice for creating different types of warp knit structures. So, I will be choosing both uh, single bar and double bar construction. 
So, let us go for single bar construction. So, in single bar construction there were different constructions like atlas, pillar, tricot was there and for making single bar construction we just need to worry about only one guide bar. So, let us first start with this particular single bar structure which is 1 cross 1 tricot and with lapping plan of 1 is to 2 then 2 to 1 and then 1 to 0. So, this is what is the lapping diagram and lapping plan for 1 cross 1 tricot closed loop. So, let us see how we do the chain link arrangement. For before you start to design any particular fabric, it should be clear that what type of lapping plan you want to achieve. So, once that is done, what you need is the links of different height. So, you can see here I have used three different height of links. This is the smallest height, this is little bit bigger and this is even much bigger. Okay. So, if I can zoom for you, you can see the height difference carefully. Okay. So, you can clearly see this is the smallest one, this is the bigger size and this one is even bigger. Okay. So, three different heights are there. So, when I am switching from this to this, it means one pitch is possible and when I am switching from this links to this link, two pitch is possible. Okay. So, this height actually is carefully designed and profile has been created so that what amount of pitch can be generated. So, in normal practice up to 3 pitch is possible, usually we do not go uh, more than 3 pitch because then uh, there is a high strain on the needles and needles may break, but usually 0, zero pitch is always uh, available. Um, 1 pitch 0 to 2 when we are using this 2, it means we are using 1 pitch of overlap and underlap. When I am using 0 and 4, it means we are using 2 pitch. If I am using this 2, again 1 pitch. So, for you uh, this numbering is very, very important. So, let us denote some of the number. Let us suppose this is of 0 height, this set of link is of 1 height and this set of link is of 2 height and these are the bars. Whenever we combine these links, we need bar to secure them because bar is actually helps to secure them in the place. If bar is not there, these will be very unstable and you will not be able to fix it on the machine. So, it is always better the hole has been created, you use this bar to fix the link in a particular place. Okay. So, now let us move for simple type of fabric structure. So, the first fabric structure which I want to design is a single bar construction of 1 cross 1 tricot. So, first fabric which I want to create is 1 cross 1 tricot with closed loop construction. construction. Okay. So, if I have to create 1 cross 1 closed loop construction, first thing you want to do is you get its lapping plan. So, lapping plan for 1 cross 1 construction is 1 to 2, 1, 0. This is your lapping plan for closed loop construction, 1 cross 1 tricot and you can also for better visualization you can use lapping diagram as well just for better understanding. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1 to 2, then 2 to 1, then 
1 to 0 and this, this is how it has been created. Now the question is how we should put in the sequence okay. to make this fabric on a pattern drum usually this is the pattern drum without any chain links and if we are putting the chain links then we can generate different profile of concentratic circles. So, let us give those profiles some names. This is the third concentratic circle depending on a chain link side. So, I already uh, denoted you there are three chain types of chain links, one chain link height was 0, another one was 1 and the second one was 2. So, 0, 1, 2. So, if I use chain links on 0 chain links on particular drum, so this is the profile that the follower will be following. If I use 1 chain link, then this is the profile that follower will be following. If I use second chain link, so this much this profile which the follower will be following. And the distance of these two heights are 1 pitch from 2 to 0, the distance of this height is 2 pitch. And let us suppose I am starting from this point and because here the follower is connected with this guide bar and guides are there which is keeping individual yarns. So, this is the push bar, this is the guide bar. So, if the push bar is shifted from one position to other position depending on that what type of links you are creating on the surface. So, since the first interaction is on the first position. So, basically when the follower start interacting with pattern drum, the guide bar is actually in the first position. Okay? So, this is your first position. So, the guide bar is actually starting from this point position or the follower is starting from this position. So, from first it is, it must be doing swinging to go on the front side. So, it must be doing swinging to go on the front side. Okay. So, it must be doing swinging to certain time. So, this is the swinging to go on the front side. From first, now it is moving to the second position. So, this is your second position. Now, it is shifting to this particular position. So, the once this is rotating, so, the follower will follow this part and when this position is coming suddenly the follower will be pushed towards right. So, it will move in right direction when this point is coming and interacting with the follower. Okay. So, 1 to 2, once it reaches to 2 position then it again will be doing swinging to go back to its back position of the needle and then 2 to 1 it is underlap. So, here you can see it is depressing. So, it is going down. So, this is it is going to the first position. So, after first position it is again doing swinging in the same position and then 1 to 0. So, this is where 1 to 0 okay? because this is the 0 circle and then 1 to uh, one, once it reached to 0 it again does the swinging and then finally 0 to 1 this is the sogging or underlap. Okay. So, it is started from here swinging overlap, swinging underlap, swinging overlap, swinging underlap. So, this is what the profile has to be created. How do we actually create this profile? So, first of all out of the three links which I showed you, 
it is it has to be first interact with the first link okay so the first link i have chosen the middle height okay so this is the middle height and the profile is of certain height so this this distance the follower will move without doing anything after that it has to jump so definitely once the follower reach point reach to this point whatever links we are going to fix here it must be of bigger height so this is what bigger height is coming so once it reaches to this position you can see there is a bigger height so you can see it here if you carefully see so this is the bigger height so i can fix it here okay so swinging then this is the first overlap so this is what is happening here so once the follower coming here it may get some kind of jerk it may get some kind of jerk so it's always better to do some kind of profiling here to protect the machine so i can use someone with some kind of profile without profile also the machine can run but there will be lot of wear and tear so you can see now the profile is there so which will help in shifting the follower from first height to second height so from first height to second height it can shift here so once this is there then swinging because the you can see there is no change in radius so this is the time where the swinging is happening up to this much point the swinging is happening after that there is a depression so depression up to which point it the same one height so i have to take another one height okay so this is what the same height i have used this one and this one second position once this is done i can fix the link okay so after one there is a swinging so you can see there is no change in radius and then we are going to depress to zero level so i need to find out which is smaller than this height so this is zero level this is zero level okay so after this this is this is swinging once this is done then it has to go back to its second position so this could be your second position again so 2 4 2 0 okay so this is what i have used this is 1 this is 2 then again 1 then this is 0 so this is what is the sequence which you can find it from this arrangement so first is 1 which i placed then i placed 2 then again i placed 1 then i placed 0 okay then again from here 1 and then i can place 2 okay and then i can place after 2 there must be 1 and then after 1 there must be 0 okay after 0 again we can start from 1 and 2 so this is 1 
after 2 we have to use 1 again. So, this is 1 again the bar to fix it and then finally, we can go for the last one this is 0 and after 0 then again 1 is coming. So, this is how I can fix it the entire. So, now any time if you follow the sequence 1 2 1 0 will be coming. So, this is 1 2 1 0 1 2 1 0 1 2 1 0. So, if your drum is of this much radius. So, in one complete rotation it will be making 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 courses. So, depending on what is the radius of your pattern drum you can keep following the sequence of these chain links and you can keep creating the courses. So, this is the simple one. Uh, so far if you see this particular design. So, here only 4 links has to be used 1, 2, 1, 0. So, this is 1, 2, 1, 0. So, for this particular pattern drum only 4 links are required, but there the links can be bigger also which can be used depending on what type of uh, machine capability you are having. So, this is how you can follow the sequence of chain. So, if you want to see you can clearly see there is a elevation and depression and once this is done you can fix this sequence of chain links on the drum to get this particular fabric. Okay. So, this is one simple example for one cross, cross one tricot. Similarly, you can go for pillar stitch if you want pillar stitch for pillar stitch uh, you need to first uh, write down its slapping plan. So, pillar stitch. So, in pillar stitch uh, let us look at pillar stitch. So, in pillar stitch um, as I mentioned in the previous class also there are two possibilities one is open pillar stitch and then closed pillar stitch. So, in open pillar stitch the loops are open and usually underlaps are missing only overlaps. So, this is what your pillar stitch is all about. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, you can simply note down its slapping plan, slapping plan. So, 0 to 1 then 1 to 1 is the underlap and then 1 to 0 and this is what is repeating. Okay. So, 0 1, 1 to 1 and 0. So, if I have to make the chain link arrangement of this I simply need to follow the chains of this number and put it in a sequence. So, I can simply this is the pattern drum radius this is the radius due to 0 chain link, this is the radius due to first chain links. Okay. So, let me start from here. So, this is the point where follower is following. So, this is this is 0 position, this is 1 position, there is no 2, so there is no need to put it here itself. So, this is 0 position, this is 1 position and the follower is first with the 0 position and this is the push bar which is connected with the guide bar and this guide is having each individual guides. So, it is 0 position, so it first swings and then it shifts to first position, this is the first position, then at first position it again has to swing and then it is remain on the first position okay, and then again it has to swing back and then it is 
moving to 0 position because 1 to 0 this is overlap and then it is it is moving 0 to 0 position. So, this is what is the profile for pillar stitch. So, now how I can put the sequence? So, we start from 0. So, this is the 0 height and then I will go for 1. Then the second digit is also 1. So, I can go for sec 2 ones simultaneously and since the profile is same, so you can see there are lot of continuously swinging motion and because there is no underlap. So, it is just like a stop motion for the guide bar. Okay, only swinging is happening, no swinging motion for due to no overlap. Once this is done, then 1 to 0 and I can put it in sequence. So, this is for pillar stitch. Once this is done, if you want to make pillar, you can simply put it and you can keep in a sequence. 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 again 0 1 1 0 depending on how many courses one rotation of drum is making. So, this is how you make the pillar stitch. Similarly, you can go for atlas construction. In atlas construction, the only um, difference you will observe is there will be lot of sequence uh, that need to be followed. Let us go for another simple one where you have more than 3 courses. So, let us suppose if you have single bar construction, single bar construction which is repeating in 3 courses, 3 courses. So, let us suppose it is repeating in 3 courses. So, 1 to 0, 1 to 0. Okay. So, let us suppose some design is like this. So, 2 closed loop, 1 open loop. This is just like your atlas construction. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, if it has to be followed, you can just simply find out lapping plan, lapping plan. So, we start from 1 to 0, then 0 to 2, then again from 2 to 1, 2 to 1 is the overlap, then 1 to 1 is underlap, there is no underlap here, then 1 to 0. And 0 to 1. So, this is how the sequence has been followed. So, if you if you want to create the chain link arrangement for this, it is very very simple. So, we start from number 1. So, this is number 1. Then we start to 0 position. We, we can fix it here. After that, second much bigger height of the link we can fix it here okay after that again one position which we can fix it here after that again from 1 to 1 1 to 1, you can fix it here and then from 1, then we are going to 0 position. Okay. So, 1, 0, 2, 1, 1, 0. So, this is 1 position, 0, 2 position, then again 1 position, then 1 position, then 0 position. So, this is how you get the shingle bar construction for atlas. So, this is how 
we do it for all. So, this is for pillar construction, this is for atlas construction and this is for tricot construction. Okay. So, this is what three constructions we have just covered. What is more important is just sequence of lapping plan and according to that you can simply achieve whatever structure you want to do it. So, this is for tricot, this is for pillar and this is for atlas. So, with this, uh, this is the sequence we followed in the real practice. Now, let us move to the double bar construction. In double bar construction, as I already told, there are two sets of bars. So, definitely you need to follow chain link sequence for individual guide bar. So, there are different possibilities of double bar constructions is possible and uh, once uh, you have the sequence for each individual bar, you can fix it on the machine, on the pattern drum and then you can go for fabric production. Now, let us see a very simple example of how you can combine sequence of two double bar construction. So, let us go for the double bar construction. So, let us suppose we want to create a double bar construction having first guide bar with lapping sequence of 1, 2, 1, 0 and second guide bar lapping sequences of pillar stretch 0, 1 slash 1, 0. So, if this is there, we need to combine together both the sequence. So, whenever we are fixing the chain link for one guide bar, we have to also make sure when one is there, the next guide bar should be interacting with 0. When the first guide bar is interacting with 2, the second guide bar should be interacting with first. So, we have already done the practice for these two. So, this is for first guide bar, this is tricot and this is for second guide bar. We have already done this. So, so this is 1, this is 2, 1, 0. Okay. So, 1, 2, 1, 0 and this is 0, 1, 1, 0. So, the only things which you which need to be carefully followed here is whenever you are using 1 for first guide bar, then for the second guide bar you must be using 0. So, this need to be attached with the same sequence. So, this is for 1, this is 0. When it is interacting with 2, so this is 2, then it must be interacting with 1. Okay. So, once this is done, then 1, 1. So, this is 1. So, 1, 1. So, here also we need to use 1 for second guide bar. Okay. And then this is 0 and 0. So, this is 0 is fixed here and this is 0. So, once this is done, this our chain link sequence for both the guide bar is arranged and once this is done, we can fix it on the double bar machine on its pattern drum. So, this is how double R construction is used. There could be very much uh, 
problem when you are using fabric of different repeat designs. So, for example, here the first guide bar is repeating in two courses, here also in two courses. For example, when you are making first guide bar, second fabric, which is repeating in three courses. For example, 1, 0, 2, 1, 1, 0. This is your atlas and second guide bar is let us suppose making pillar 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay. So, this is repeating in two courses, this is repeating in three courses and if it has to be used on the same pattern drum, so when the pattern drum actually revolves the complete revolution, it has to be ensured that the repeating pattern should be repeated after every revolution of pattern drum. So, when this type of guide bar has to be produced using two bar tricot machine, then one revolution of pattern drum should be making two designs for first guide bar and should be making three designs for second guide bar because this is repeating in three courses this is repeating in two courses. So, both the designs will be repeating after every six courses. Okay. So, the pattern drum should be arranged in such a way that it should be having six courses, it should be forming in the sequence. So, that it can repeat the design of both 1 and 2. So, in one rotation of pattern drum, it should be making three repeat design of guide bar 2. In one rotation of pattern drum, it should be making two rotation of guide bar 1, two design for guide bar 1. So, this is the only thing which need to be um, taken care when you go for many complicated designs. In multi bar constructions, when you have different types of guide bar like 1 to 8 guide bar, you can see how the designs can keep on getting complicated, but the principle remains same. First step, you need to put it the links in a sequence for one guide bar. Similarly, you need to put the sequence of second guide bar. If the repeat course is different, then you have to make sure that the pattern drum revolutions should be completing the repeat designs for each guide bar. Okay. So, this is how the chain links for double bar constructions are made. So, this is the, your double bar, bar constructions are made. Once the chain links is done, you can put this chain links uh, sequence on the machine, you can see it here. So, this is where you are putting it and after fixing this, you can take this on the machine and you can put it. So, here you can see there are two chain links are placed, although we are using single guide bar, but if the other guide bar is attached, then it will be a second two bar construction. So, with this I am stopping uh, here on the practical aspects of warp knitting. In the next lecture, I will be summarizing all the technologies. There are many other technologies, especially two bed, rational machine, multi axial warp knitting machine, pile warp knitting fabrics. There are different types of technologies are there, but the principle of uh, those type of fabrics remain same. So, I would recommend all of you to keep uh, reading many other literatures and uh, practicing on warp knitted structure design and principles. So, with this I am stopping here, see you all in the next class, thank you.